Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga. Welcome to my podcast for Core Sun Salutations. It's a little bit different than the classical sun salutations because it adds in this element of abdominal strengthening, pelvic floor and root strengthening, and kind of unites every pose back into center. This is going to strengthen you a lot and also provide you more flexibility and more possibility in all of your other poses. So you can do this in addition to or instead of your regular sun salutations at any time. Begin at the front of the mat to warm up the abdominal area. Bring your hands onto your knees. On your inhale, wave your spine through. On your exhale, curl in. So when you're just warming up, you might not want to go so deeply into these two motions. So you'll know where you need to go. Inhaling and exhale. Try to keep your spine long as you inhale, reach the heart. Exhale, hug in. And begin to add some arm movements. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your fist to your low waist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug in. And continue for a few more breaths this time. Can you really allow your heart to become more open as you inhale and keep it open as you exhale and draw deep into the navel. Inhale here. Slow exhale. Three more. Good. Inhale here. On your exhale, really pull into the abdominals and hug in. Stay. So connecting down to the center is what's going to unite the arms, the legs, the spine and torso of each posture into a root of support. You always want to feel this happening. So lift up through the muscles of your pelvic floor too. Mula Bandha, keep holding that root lift. And slowly lean back. Maybe you can lift the toes a little bit or feet. Hang on here if you need to, otherwise reach out. We're going to inhale, lift the feet. Exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, lengthen a little or a lot. Exhale, inhale, lengthen out, exhale, draw in. So really moving this in a concentrated amount of effort and action from the pelvic floor and navel. And the challenge is not to collapse in the back, but to keep the heart open. Good. Three more of these. Inhale a lot, exhale even more. So you can get all of that air out, very detoxifying. Good. One more. Inhale here. Exhale. So really feeling that bonfire of center beginning. Cross your right ankle over your left. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Plant your hands. And use that same core area that you're feeling in the belly to step gently or hop gently back to plank pose. Lifting up through your navel a lot. Tendency here is to collapse down. Let the joints do the work. Uh-uh. Lifting up through your navel. So reuniting the whole pose together. Nice straight plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lifting through your navel center. Transition back into downward facing dog pose. So it's easy to kind of front plank, let the booty do the work. And then you're overarching in the back and the shoulder joints compress too much. So instead, learn to move back from the front body and then descend and extend through the heels and stretch the back body. On your next inhale, from the pelvic floor and navel, hugging in, wave your spine forward, back into plank. Exhale, drop deeply back to the root. Inhale, wave forward, take your time. Exhale, press it back. Continue this motion, nice, deep, slow breaths and movement. If that's a lot for you, try it on your knees. Inhaling forward, lots of abdominal strength still. Exhale, all the way back. Good. Just a couple more here. So this wave-like motion is going to strengthen all of the big and little muscles along the spine, the abdominals, and your back. Pretty amazing. Now exhale back into downward facing dog and just breathe, lifting from your navel, reaching your shoulders forward a little bit so they can set onto your back and release the neck. From the strength of your navel lifting you, inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. It's important not to open the toes and hip, but to turn the toes down towards the floor so the hip 
becomes center. Now you can access your navel strength more. So lift up your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, lift that top leg higher. On your exhale, bring the knee forward and up into your rib cage. So you're really strengthening here. This is core plank. So instead of a straight plank, it's drawing in and up. Lift your hips a lot. Even lift your back heel. Inhale, down dog splits, toes face down. Exhale, core plank, in and way up. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, come to center. And now keep going forward with the knee, but keep lifting the foot and knee, using your abdominal strength to float that foot forward. Drawing into your belly, reach and rise, high lunge. So your heart and arms can really expand up from this indrawn center, pelvic floor always lifting. Inhale here, exhale, release your hands to the floor. Step back through that core transition and lengthen plank. Inhale here, beginners put your knees down now, otherwise exhale, everybody lower down, elbows over wrists, keep your belly lifting, chaturanga. Inhale, stretch your heart, you can go lower than this if you need to. Exhale, Important transition back through the belly. Downward facing dog and breathe. You're going to do it with me on the other side. So inhale, lift that left leg high. Turn the toes down. Reach through your belly. See if you can get the hips centered even more. Maybe bend your standing leg for a while to do that. Connecting to center. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, core plank. Hover here. Every exhale lifts your knee higher into your chest. Great opening for the low back as you strengthen your abdominals. Inhale, lift the leg back and up. Exhale, core plank two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring that knee forward and use the momentum and strength to step up. Good. Draw up through your navel and in a wave, come into your standing pose. You can reach out and up. So it's good to deepen your postures, but remember to keep lifting that inner strength up through the root, through the navel, side, waist, and back. So you're hugging in and expressing yourself. Deep breath here. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Step back, plank. Strong at center, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose or higher. Exhale, downward facing dog, waving back to center, and breathe. So you may find you get a lot more intensity, a lot hotter, a lot faster when you practice from this combustion in the core. So breathe a lot to help that fire move and help transform you. Now, to step or jump forward, it's nice to get stronger here in this transition too. So if you're new to this, you'll go really a lot lower. You'll hop like this, little tiny hops. It's going to strengthen your arms and your core a lot. Walk the feet in, press your big toe mounds together. You're going to take about five hops here. So I lean forward into the arms and fingertips a lot, straight arms. And on your exhales, see if you can draw those, both of those knees back up into the chest. And as you exhale through the navel, you're going to strengthen a lot. And eventually, you might even be able to rainbow both of those legs forward as you jump forward. So again, it's not just getting the feet forward and keeping them low. It's rainbowing both knees up and forward as if you're coming through that core plank to step forward transition. Same thing, just both legs at once now. So you're going to rainbow the knees up and forward and lighten your way. Inhale, offer your heart once you arrive. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. And Namaste. Good. So you can then begin inhaling, opening the arms for mountain pose. Exhale, folding forward. Looking for a prepare, step or hop back plank pose. And begin to go through that series again as many times as you wish from downward dog doing the core plank three times and stepping forward. And you'll notice that when you do that for a while in your practice, other poses like crow pose, the jump forward, handstands, standing pose, everything becomes easier, easier to endure. I uh, get more flexibility in the hips, the spine, and it'll strengthen you all over. So 
hope you enjoy the process, and I will hopefully see you soon. Namaste.